There is a secret addition to the American Automotive update that was not mentioned within the reveal livestream. It was only mentioned in the blog post and the changelog. We're going to talk about that secret addition today because it's kind of a controversial one. Micro microtransactions. So quickly before we touch on that, let's touch on the update itself. We got the usual American Automotive update graphic over on the Forza Horizon 5 Twitter that shows all of the cars, all of the new stuff that's in the game. One of the new things was a car pack. I'm giving away some. Subscribe and comment your gamer tag if you want to win a code for the car pack. But if you look closely at the bottom of new features, it says that auto show car vouchers are now available. Now these are technically microtransactions. We've also been given the full changelog as well which has everything we already know about and all of the bugs and fixes so if you're interested in the bugs and fixes this is every single one fixed in the latest update every single one and we can also see the new auto show car vouchers sneaking at the bottom of new features as well it is mentioned on all the change logs as i said but it is not mentioned within the live stream and they definitely usually mention every new feature within the live streams so what are the car vouchers well now i'm really interested about your guys opinions on this so listen to all the facts and i'll give you today and my thoughts then in the comment section pop down your thoughts i'm intrigued so if we look at the blog post we can see all the details the new auto show car voucher program will allow players to enjoy Fort 2005 at their own speed Purchase auto show car vouchers with real world currency and exchange them for any car you'd like at the auto show. Does not include festival playlist cars or car pack cars. Now there are different bundles of auto show car vouchers available as we can see here. For $5 you can get 4, for $9.99 you can get 10, for $20 you can get 24. So again it doesn't encourage you to spend more but obviously the more you spend the more you get. And it is what it says on the tin. You get one car, what you get one car voucher, and you can spend it and get any auto show car for free with that voucher. So it is, I guess, it's a micro, micro. I can't even say that word today. Micro transaction at the end of the day that's what it is and it is the first time that it's kind of been added in this way to a horizon game and it's it's controversial i personally at first wasn't really too bothered i thought oh i just i'm not interested in it who cares if it's in the background for people who are interested in it to buy these vouchers but thinking about it a little bit i, I don't know there's a few red flags there Looking at the Q&A for the car vouchers to see how they work extensively, it gives you the basics, you'll be able to purchase any car at the auto show. We can see the prices in pounds, so it's £4, £8 or £15, which feels more reasonable than dollars. You can buy them through the store tab of the pause menu, so they're not really that hidden in game, despite it sort of seeming like they've tried to hide it by not mentioning it in the stream. The vouchers do not cross over from different platforms. And more importantly, what's really interesting is you cannot sell or auction the cars that you got on the auto show on the auction house, which kind of means that you can't translate these cars to credits, which would technically mean you're buying credits with real life money. That's not the case, you can't do that. So I, I guess that's good in a way. They'll be linked to your account and you can't gift drop them and you can't auction house them. So there's no way of doing anything with that car other than having it. And I think, I'm not 100% sure if I'm correct on this, but I think if you remove the car from your garage, so delete it essentially, I think you get the voucher back. I might be wrong with that, don't quote me on that. If I'm wrong, I'll make sure to comment and say that I'm wrong. Now, in Playground Games defense though, they have said the reason this wasn't mentioned and announced within the live stream is that because the people that watch the live streams are not the type of people that are gonna need these car vouchers. So it's sort of more for the casual players, the Game Pass, may Game Pass players perhaps. And they've said that's why it wasn't mentioned within the live stream, which kind of makes sense. I've got to give it to them. It does make sense that none of us are gonna need these car vouchers. It's more for people who, as I said, so I kind of get that, but it does make you wonder if they also didn't mention it just to avoid the backlash. And so I think if they announced this on stream, it would have got a bit, bit of backlash. Do you know what I mean? So maybe it's a bit of both, but I think Playground Games reasoning makes sense because there, I can, there's nobody watching this who's going to need these vouchers, surely. But what worries me about this is if there are a lot of Game Pass people out there, a lot of casuals that do buy these vouchers, it will give Playground Games a, another revenue source which might be considerably larger than the car pack revenue sources they get and they might be tempted in the future for let's say horizon 6 
to inflate the prices of cars, houses, whatever we can buy in that game, to then encourage people to have to buy the vouchers because that revenue is just so tempting. Do you know what I mean? Might be talking out my rear end here, but these are just possibilities and I think maybe the game was just better off without them. We have to remember that Horizon 5 is two years old. The updates we get are free. We've had the expansions now. The only revenue income that they get are probably whatever they get from Game Pass, game sales and car packs. The updates are free, so they need some kind of revenue to make it to Horizon 6. And a few other things with the updates. There are some unique offers for sort of package deals for Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon 5. You can purchase Forza Motorsport and the Forza Horizon 5 Premium Add-ons bundle that includes both the games and their Premium Add-on bundles for a discounted price. And you can also purchase just the Premium Add-on bundles for both games in one single package at a discounted price. It's only temporarily available, so if you haven't got either of the Premium packages for either Forza games, I'd definitely recommend maybe swiping them up as it might be the best deal available. In the reveal live stream where they didn't mention the car vouchers, there was uh, this graphic shown. Now, I thought it was a very impressive graphic. Again, talking about how many free updates we get, 99% of the stuff on this screen was free. 255 cars since the game's launch, 119 rims, 1047 different custom events. This is an insane amount of stuff to be free. Please remember that, guys. This is completely free, other than the car packs where there's... I don't actually see car packs on this screen anywhere. Yeah, the car packs and the expansions, which I don't, I don't even play the expansions anymore, to be honest. It's all free, and we've got to remember that about Horizon games. Uh, it kind of makes me think that let them do microtransactions, I guess. What an impressive two years it's been. I am very excited for Horizon 6. Now, one more thing to talk about as it's within the update topic. This most recent update has really made a big difference to the leaked car list. This is what the leaked car list looked like before the update, and this is what it looks like after the update. But yeah, the latest leak a few weeks ago has almost been completed. There's only a few cars left on this list that haven't arrived in the game, which again makes it even more likely that these ones might come in the future. I've got to say might because they might not. We'll wait to see them in a future update. And we also have a couple that have been completed from a leak ages ago, almost two years ago. These ones over on the left hand side here. Two of these have been sat on this list for a long time. As I said, almost two years. They've not been added to the game and they have now been additioned within the latest update. Now, why have they been sat there for that long and not been added back? I can't answer that. Maybe it was licensing issues or maybe they were waiting for the American Automotive update. But it does go to show that any cars that are black on this list could still come at any point or they might not come at any point. You never know. Anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. Bye-bye.